All right, YouTube, hey Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Check out this project right here. Actually, this is a 30 by 40, 10 feet tall. And you can see here the setup on this, how we're getting the porch, the wraparound porch set up on this. You can see it's got a cupola, but to kind of give you an idea as far as geography, location of this project, this is actually in Seneca County, Ohio. So for those of you that are familiar with Ohio, this is actually about 70 miles north of Columbus, about 50 miles southeast of Toledo, and about 30 miles south of Lake Erie. So that kind of gives you the geography, the backdrop on this. But a 30 by 40, 10 feet tall here. You see how we got the porch getting that lined up here. You can see we're utilizing four by sixes and actually six by six. See that? Let me kind of give you a little bit better perspective on this one right here, but six by sixes. You see there as we're building out that on the gable there. Then on the eave, we have four by sixes right there. Again, that's eight feet on the porch. And you can see we're going here with the white ceiling under there. And again, if you've been following these videos, there's a number of different color choices out there. There's gray, there's black, there's tan, there's a number of them. But you can see white's usually a popular choice for a lot of these color combinations. You can see here, three foot section, again, 10 feet tall, 30 by 40, 10 feet tall here to Eve. See, utilizing a black wainscot right there, three feet. Then also a gray sidewall steel. But I haven't talked about this in a few videos, but if you've been following this channel here, check that out here. We keep that side steel just a little bit above the wainscot trim there. And the reason why we do that, this has happened maybe once or twice in the last 10 or 15 years. We can see how we leave a little crack, little fissure there. And the reason we do that, it lets the water escape, lets the water move, lets the water fissure. It doesn't congregate on that sidewall panel. All right, because if you set it right there flush with that, sometimes, again, it's only happened once or twice in the last 10 or 15 years, but rust will come up on that sidewall panel. All right, so you can see kind of the setup here. We had to get this site up to grade. Now I put this one kind of in the earlier stages. We did a little bit of the roof, half the roof. But you can see the progress that's being made on this. You can see how we brought 401 stone on this, brought up the grade. But let's take a look at the inside of this as I go on with that. So we still got a little work to do on this. 30 by 40, 10 feet tall here, actually in Seneca County, Ohio. All right, but you can see the overhead door openings to kind of give you some specs, some comps there. All right, those are actually 10 by eights, all right? And somebody asked me, I don't know, maybe a couple videos ago, why would you do like a nine feet, six inch at the E versus maybe a 10 feet or maybe using, you know, 11 feet, six instead of a 12? Well, you need a foot and a half, 18 inches for clearance of your overhead door. So that's the reason why sometimes you might see these 30 by 40, maybe nine feet, six or 11 feet, six inches. You need 18 inches of clearance, okay? But you can see right up there, that's actually a three foot cupola. It's got the weather vane set up on that. So those windows right there, three by three, you can see they're sitting up just a little bit on the wainscot. But let me kind of give you, back this up just a little bit so you can kind of get a, a look at this. But again, uh, probably about another day here. And then this thing will be wrapped up. But again, 30 by 40, you can see 10 feet tall. It's got that nice wraparound porch right there. All right. So again, comments always welcome. Till next one, keep it locked, keep it loaded right here at Columber and then at Columber.com.